In this video, I'll attempt to break down who's lying and who's telling the truth in the lithium battery industry. Now, before we get started, let me tell you two things. First, this video is my opinion, and I have consulted a few other industry business owners for their opinions as well. You're totally welcome to disagree with us. But I've been an industry insider since 2016, which is longer than most consumer lithium battery brands have been around. I've also imported my own brand from China and reviewed dozens of lithium batteries and battery products over the years. And the other two owners I've talked to have even more experience than me. And the second thing I want to tell you up front is that grade B batteries aren't necessarily bad. I'm not trying to convince anyone to buy one or the other. I actually sell some myself and use some in my own solar system in my shed. But I believe that you have the right to know which cells are in the battery you're buying. And unfortunately, very few companies will admit to it. Okay, now that we have all that out of the way, let me pose a scenario to you. If you buy one of these cheap lithium deep cycle batteries on Amazon or eBay, and it turns out to be built with grade B cells, who was it that lied to you? Was it the company that assembled the finished battery product? Or was it the cell manufacturer? Or was it someone else? To answer that, let's take a look at the two main ways that the supply chain works for lithium batteries. The way that the highest quality batteries are made is the battery assembler buys grade A cells directly from the cell manufacturer. The cell manufacturer provides all the testing and grading data to the assembler so that they know they're properly graded and can track any issues with QR codes and serial numbers and other methods of assuring authenticity. Now, the way that the rest of the batteries are made is where all the confusion comes in. A middleman is introduced to the chain, which I'll call wholesalers, in between the battery assembler and the cell manufacturer. Now, stay with me here. The cell manufacturers sell both grade A and grade B cells to wholesalers, and at this point in the chain, it's very clear which ones are which because of very strict Chinese laws and regulations. If a cell doesn't make the grade A cut, then it's very clearly documented and stamped with a visible mark indicating that it is grade B. Now, if a battery brand is too small to buy direct from the manufacturer, or they can just get a better price from a wholesaler, they can buy legit grade A cells from a wholesaler. But the wholesaler also sells grade B cells that they paid the manufacturer pennies on the dollar for. So you can see where this is going. There's now a temptation to sell grade B cells for grade A prices and radically increase their profit margins. Now, there is a third scenario that's pretty uncommon, but worth noting because this is where most of the horror stories come from. If a do-it-yourselfer wants to assemble their own battery from components, then they can get their lithium cells from a wholesaler through sites like AliExpress. But there are almost no buyer protections on AliExpress, and many do-it-yourselfers are finding that the sweet prices they scored on grade A cells were a scam. Now, you can do a Google search and turn up dozens of reports on various websites and forums of consumers who wanted to build their own battery and ended up with faked cells. In fact, there's evidence that the wholesalers will go to the trouble of actually physically sanding off or removing laser etching from the cell manufacturer and replacing it with their own fake labels, QR codes, or other marks. A lot of the do-it-yourselfers that I've talked to that make batteries as a hobby have told me they'll just buy a large quantity of cells knowing that a certain percentage of them will be grade B or worse. And that's just part of doing business with these companies. Okay, back to the second scenario. We know some of the wholesalers are crooks, but what about the battery assemblers? How do they fit into this puzzle? At the risk of complicating things, there are two main types of battery assemblers. Some are Chinese companies and export the finished battery to the United States or other markets and sell it under their own brand name. The rest are companies from the US or other countries that import the finished battery to their country from a Chinese assembly partner. The former category, the Chinese companies, you're generally going to find on eBay, Amazon, and other sites. The latter are the companies like Millertech, Dakota, Ionic, LifeBlue, Monster Marine, Tracker, and other brands that sell direct on their websites or through other retailers. I could go into a lot more detail on all this, but it's already getting pretty complicated and confusing. The point is that it's possible that because of the way these two types of assemblers do business, it introduces more possibilities for lying. A Chinese brand exporting to the US 
or another country and selling on Amazon or eBay can offer an absurdly low price because they're using cheap grade B or even C sales, pay for some fake reviews to give them some credibility to consumers, and end up selling tens of thousands of batteries before their lies catch up to them. And since it's a Chinese company, a consumer that gets defrauded cannot sue them or hold them accountable in any way. And Amazon won't do anything about it. Estimates put 60 to 80 percent of all Amazon sellers are Chinese. So after your 30-day return window is over, a consumer may be left without any warranty protection or legal recourse at all. And when the negative reviews start flooding in, the Chinese brand can just pull the product from Amazon, change their branding, and re-release the same product on Amazon under a brand new name. Rinse and repeat. Meanwhile, the American companies that import from an assembler overseas and then sell direct to consumers can also be lying. Generally speaking, they have a lot more to lose, though. They can be sued by customers and cannot escape negative reviews or a bad brand reputation as easily. So generally speaking, these companies are pretty honest. But, and this is my frustration with several brands that I will not name, these companies may be selling grade B batteries without knowing it. Their Chinese assembly partner could be using grade B sales in the assembly process to boost profits without the American company knowing about it. Now that's very risky because if they were caught, they would lose the business. And some of these brands import dozens of containers a month, but it does happen. In conclusion, here's the point. There are degrees of risk here with buying a lithium deep cycle battery. If you want the absolute longest lasting, safest and best performing battery with the least risk of premature failure, find a genuine grade A brand. These are companies that will send you the cell grading data for each cell inside your battery and you can contact Eve or Cattle or Calb or whoever the manufacturer was, and they can verify the authenticity for you. This is the most expensive option though. Now, if you're willing to take a little more risk, but not too much, and still want some buyer protection, and want to do business with someone that you can call for help, find an American brand with a good reputation that's been around for more than a few years. You're reasonably sure to get a quality battery, and there's only slightly more risk that you're buying something fake. And if you did end up with a dud, you have someone to call and hold accountable. Or if you're willing to roll the dice and knowing full well you're buying grade B, grab a Chinese brand off eBay or Amazon. Yes, you can buy a few of them for the same price as the other options. And yes, you may get something almost as good, but you may also get something horrible. One of the industry experts that I talked to, which is one of the owners of SFK, says in his experience, a grade B battery will fail prematurely 20% of the time. But all will have some level of decreased performance, from mild to serious. You may not notice it, it's so subtle, or it may be painfully obvious under high loads. So if you accept all that, then absolutely get the cheap battery. It may be perfect for light duty or emergency uses. I just wish these companies would be honest and tell you what you're buying, so you can make the decision for yourself. That wraps up this video. Thanks for watching, and be sure to leave a like and a comment below.